Good morning. This is Kathy Peck, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Wichita Falls, Texas. Oh man, I had a few technical difficulties this morning, but I'm here. I'm online. Ready to go. Okie dokie. So, what I have today is we're going to do a little quick card making demo. But first, I wanted to show you this. I made this card over the weekend for a blog hop. An international blog hop and this is with the enjoy the moment stamp set and I just created half a background on a piece of white cardstock and then I have two pieces of DSP here there's one little sliver which is one of the colors in here that I blended with which is Sahara sand and then the evening evergreen so the theme was evening evergreen and Sahara sand for those two colors and then I added some of those met brush metallic dots I love these these are probably my favorite adhesive I like that muted color and then just on the inside I just added another strip of that DSP but yes you can see this on my blog um, I didn't make a video for this one but it's really I love this stamp set It's just you know it's very specific so you have to have it have the right thing to make it with and this is a masking technique where I have a masking paper and I just ripped it and put it down here and then did all the blending so yeah so take a look okay so today we're gonna make a card and this is where I started I wanted to make a hello card we have some new neighbors um, and, and I just wanted to stick a card in their mailbox to introduce ourselves and so this this is my inspiration but we're not going to do this this was a little bit more complex because I actually die cut the word into the card and it's flush but I think today we're just going to glue do do the stamping and glue the word on 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 it because this was a little nerve-wracking to do <laughs> to get everything straight so this is what we need we have a piece of uh, this is Cajun craze cardstock it's cut eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter I have my letters here that I die cut in five different colors I'm going to use five different colors on each one I have a piece of basic white cardstock that'll be this is what we stamp on and stick our letters on and then a piece of basic white for the inside so we'll stamp a little bit of that and let's see these are extras okay don't ask me what I was going to do with these because I don't know Oh, wait a minute. I don't think I was going to use Cajun Craze. No, I'm going to use Cherry Cobbler because I'm going to stamp with Cajun Craze. So I'm trying to incorporate all the colors that I used because I used five colors, but I'm only stamping with three. Stamping with Cajun Craze, Old Olive. Old Olive's been around like forever. Hope it never goes away. And Crushed Curry. So these three colors and then I have all my letters I'll put them over there uh, I've already mounted my stamps so that's easy what I didn't do was get a cleaner but that's okay I'm gonna use my take your pick tool today and here's the stamp set it's gorgeous leaves it's in the July to December catalog it is a beautiful fall stamp set I always get the fall stamp sets because I just cannot resist. So here goes. We'll do some stamping first. Have my little example set up to help me. Okay, I'll move that aside. That. All right. So I'm gonna do the big leaf. I like to start off with the big leaf, and it's gonna be in Cajun Craze. So. Just get it going here. Let's see, I put one. And really, this is you could just stamp them however you want. It's your card. Alright, I'm going to stamp two fairly large images and then just a little shading of another one here and there. So, the second generation, I'll put like a little bit there. And maybe over here somewhere. I'm 
might do some more so I'm just gonna leave that like that so there's the first set uh, this is crushed curry and for crushed curry I wanted to use this longer leafy stamp the leaves are starting to fall here in Texas but they rarely change they just fall fall to the ground poof just trying to leave a space for the letters and if I happen to you know cover up some color with the letters that's perfectly fine this is just a little quick handmade card all right now we're gonna stick some I think I'm done with it well just in case I'm gonna leave that out all right garden or not garden green old olive here we go with some olive. Let's see, I think we'll just point it like that. And then do a second generation stamping right here. Ooh. Oh well, that's okay. That came out a little dark on the tip, but no biggie. So there. That looks like fallen leaves, but you know, I need a little green over here, I think, just to, to make things equal. Maybe just the tail end. There we go. Emma, what's wrong? My dog Emma is in here just, she should be sleeping, but she's just excited this morning. I don't know what she's running after. Okay, I think I'm happy with that stamping, so these off and set them aside. I'll clean them after I'm done with this video. This is a beautiful stamp. Shush! You do not need to be making noise so early in the morning. Here. Get in pen. There we go. Hopefully that'll that'll help her. Okay, so I'm gonna pick my letters. Let's see, I think let's see. The word is hello. So I'll just use my take your pick tool. I think I wanna start with either I think I'm gonna start with a Cajun crazed H. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to hold this with the take your pick tool and apply a little bit of glue. The glue is going to come out. Of course not. That's why I keep a pin. I keep a little pin near my glue and I just stick it in there and it usually helps get it started. So I just stick a pin on my little tool caddy. I always have one there. There we go. There we go, and it gets it going. So just a teeny tiny dibbles. If you feel you put too much, just stick your finger on it and pull off the excess, and you can wipe it off on your paper. Okay, here's the fun part. Actually, I need some tape because I want this to be straight. So, just a minute. always happens I always forget something but I recently found this um, masking tape somewhere online and it's, it's nice for lining things up it's, I think it's a one or it's a one inch one inch wide so just gonna tear off a piece long enough line this up here on my handy dandy grid paper you know how I love my grid paper Hazel, be quiet. That was Hazel. 
I have three puppies here. Peanut's still in bed. She slept with me last night, so she's she's a little diva. She likes to stay in bed, or she hangs out in the laundry basket. I, I don't know why, but it's just crazy. Okay, so I've got that. Of course, I have it going like totally the wrong direction. So I'm gonna sweep these off, and I'm gonna flip this around so we can all see what I'm doing, especially me. Shh. Apologize for that. All right. So, I'm going to start, like, right here. And I'm going to just stick the edge of the eight <coughs> right against her. Hazel. Hush. Okay. We'll go with, uh, let's see. I think maybe a yellow. Yes. E. And then we'll do an L and orange. <coughs> and a green L. Because I want to end with the cherry cobbler. Oh, and I'll take, I'll do the O last, and the O will go everywhere else but in the center. Or, you know, it won't be lined up on the edge. Okay. And where's my green? Oh, here he is. Ta-da! There. Nice fall colors, I think. Just glue these on. Oops, that one's not sticking to my tool. Come on now. Here we go. Oh, it's so early in the morning, and I'm so froggy early in the morning, but that's okay. But I love getting on live early, it's a good way to start the day. Really? You should be sleeping. Quit barking. Okay. Ah! <sighs> I love schnauzers, but let me tell you, they can be yappy little critters. Although this is our third schnauzer, and she's not ah! nearly as yappy as our first two were. But, oh my goodness. She has her moments. And then our bulldog is still a puppy, and oh my gosh. She's big and gets into everything. Alright. Looky, looky, here we go. Hello. Ta-da! That's my card front. All done. That didn't take too long. I mean, yesterday evening, I just got out the dies. This is the the letters are cut with the playful alphabet dies and I just whacked a few colors through there for practice. Alright, I'm going to take some, I think I want the crushed curry image on the inside. So I'm going to do a little crushed curry here there. Just one. That's all we need is one. Alright. Let's glue this all in. Now this is going to be plain and simple. No embellishments. No ribbon. Um, so this would go if I were to put it in the mail it would go through the mail with just one first class stamp. No problem. It's when you add embellishments and things that you have to upgrade a little to that non-machinable stamp and then you also want to add a little extra piece of paper in your envelope to protect your card front so that the embellishments don't protrude through the envelope envelope in the mail there you know me I always put a lot of glue on here There it is. That's my little quick card for today. Just needs a little tidying up, but it's ready. All right. I'll post this later on my blog. It's just a little fast and easy card for the holidays using the beautiful, gorgeous leaf stamp set.
I can say I'm very happy with it. Alrighty. Here we go again. Kathy Peck from Wichita Falls, Texas. So, I'll be back tomorrow with another little card creation for my 30 days of going live. This was day 14. Tomorrow's day 15. I'm halfway. Woohoo! Alright. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.